Greetings friends, it's Alexor again and one of the biggest mis- there's one big mistake I should say that people make that might actually just, depending on what kind of a guy you are for this game, might completely ruin your life and especially with the upcoming 1.1 cycle or even just if you never played this game and you're, and you're just new to it and you're looking at things one thing I would highly recommend to you is and this is sort of counterproductive for myself because I make a lot of build guides on YouTube do not look at build guides <laughs> because as great as these are if you just want to try new things if you have i think build guides are sort of if you're already advanced at the game you already know what you're doing to an extent and you just want to try something new then you can look into build guides to get sort of a new idea of what you could do some interactions you didn't think of yet some item you didn't think of whatever it is but when you're playing for the first time and you just go straight to a leveling guide, right? For whatever whatever build you're looking for. This might just completely ruin your experience. Right? And especially for me, I think it's also very important for other people. Watch the cutscenes, read through the story, get immersed in the game. That's a big part of it. I know many people just want to skip the campaign as fast as possible and just get to the monoliths to do... I don't know, to farm items and all that. I get it. You want to be fast with getting the items, the best uniques and all that, you know, and set items and legendaries. You want to have this. I get it. Then you miss a huge part, not just of the fun of actually going through the game, but also learning experience. Because we know when you do things yourself, you learn the most. Just seeing it, that doesn't really help you. Like if I tell you, okay, this is the build for the fall, right? Actual four from Marvel, right? Because this is a because he throws thunderstorms. Then I tell you, okay, you go here, you take this note, you take this note, you take this note. This gives you water and hit that's cool. This gives you this and that and all this shit. But when you build this yourself, like I did with this build, you learn the back and forths, the, the sort of details of what the, this note actually does. You realize, okay, this note actually didn't do what I wanted it to, so you respec it again, try something else. Well, in this case, I had this at 150,000 damage, by the way, the static, because I was going for crits. But then I realized I don't actually ever use that static itself, like discharging it. Actually clicking on an R to discharge it and do the damage. I only use the zap. I guess zaps nearby enemies when you walk past them. I only use this because it casts my lightning blast, which does crit, which casts the thunderstorm. Then I was like, okay, I don't even need this. And if you just watch at if you just watch a guide or read a guide, doesn't really matter, then you don't understand the detail of what this note actually did. Now some of you will just be okay, I don't care, I just wanna run an overpowered build, I just wanna run through things and get my items. Fine, alright? But for most people I think you wanna actually have fun with the game. You wanna experience it, right? And for this, it is widely important that you do things yourself. Now, if, you, if you're just completely stuck and you don't know what to do to actually do some fucking damage and your build just sucks, of course, then you go online and you look, okay, what am I fucking up? Why is this my mage not doing shit? Why am I dying? What's happening, actually? I mean, that's totally fine. I'm just not, nothing against that. But um, make sure to actually enjoy and learn the game in the process because that helps you a lot, not just for this game, right? I guess you're a fan of ARPGs if you play this one. And anything you learn in this game could also help you in other games. It's just understanding mechanics, understanding how armor works here. Then you learn how it works in Diablo 4 or in Path of Exile. So you get a different understanding of these things. And it helps you a lot going forward to actually have more fun. Because in the end, how do you have fun in a game like this? How do you have fun? If you make insane builds yourself, you don't need to like look at things up all the time and you actually shred if you die all the time because your build sucks i mean that was kind of insane wasn't it then you're not having fun do you so for this very very important focus on fun on the game learn the things yourself and don't just look it up all the time look it up when you can't proceed anymore and you don't know what to do but before that do it yourself that's my recommendation. It's not really a sort of gameplay skill thing that I'm teaching you here. This more sort of a behavior pattern I would recommend you use when playing these games. I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.